get some water there, boys. We have another security notice too. Extension disk encryption issues. Researchers from Halburn found a case where user keys, and this is for MetaMask, could be found unencrypted on disk in rare edge cases, which has been fixed for MetaMask extension version 10.11.3 and later. So check your version, make sure that you are updating it. But this article does bring up, or this post, this blog post, does bring up a couple points that I think uh, get missed when we're talking about security in general. So I wanted to talk about them a little bit. Security researchers at Halburn have disclosed an instance where a secret recovery phrase used by web-based wallets like MetaMask. So that could be even your Nautilus wallets, a whole bunch of other ones, right? So pretty much all wallets, you need to be careful, all web-based wallets, extension wallets. The following does not impact MetaMask mobile users and impacts a small segment of MetaMask extension users, as well as users of other web browser extension wallets. We felt this violated uh, the user expectations of our password lock feature and could therefore put some users at risk. We have since implemented mitigations for these issues. So these should not be problems for users of the MetaMask extension version 10.11.3 and later. If all of the following three conditions apply to you, you may be at risk and you should read the following next steps. Your hard drive was unencrypted. This is a big one, guys. And it's really, really simple. So for the Linux users, don't worry. I think I assume you already know what to do as far as encrypting your drive, right? I'm, I'm not going to go through that process. There are a lot of people that are just on Windows that are participating in cryptocurrency that are new, that may not be aware of features that are available. Um, and you may need to look it up for your particular system. It'll usually be dependent on like your motherboard and or your processor and the reason i say that is like what you need to have is going to be a tpm module in some cases amd has a version um i think it's like a tpm or something like that of, of a tpm module built into their cpu and it's really really important that you make sure you encrypt your drive and for windows it's as simple as right clicking your drive within explorer and saying turn on bitlocker Typically, when you go to turn on BitLocker, it'll tell you if you have the necessary components to do so. If you do not, there's another option where you can set like a password. Um, me personally, I'm not going to go into exactly how I handle encryption, uh, but there are some other options that are better uh, that you can do some research on. The reason I don't disclose my favorite encryption methods, etc., is because then that compromises my own personal security. So... I'll tell you, do your own research and, and kind of Google around the web. There are a lot of different options that you can do, but at the very least, go ahead, right click your drive and turn on BitLocker. And once again, like depending on your motherboard, et cetera, it could be different uh, as far as how you end up doing that process, but make sure that you get that enabled. You imported your secret recovery phrase into a MetaMask extension on a device that is in possession of someone you do not trust or your computer is compromised. Duh. <laughs> Don't recover your seed phrase on somebody else's computer. Come on, guys. You use the show secret recovery phrase checkbox to view your secret recovery phrase on screen during an import process. This is rough too because a lot of people do this and I'm even guilty of this where I've just like gone in and viewed the secret recovery phrase, copied it out and then like, uh, so I could get it into one of my encrypted USB drives or something like that. Um, so that one's a little bit more difficult. Obviously that's gonna be if somebody has some sort of viewing capabilities to your desktop not so much somebody taking the key from somewhere else, but also if you've just copied your key somewhere on your drive and you don't have that encrypted or you didn't put it on encrypted drive, obviously the best bet is to write that down. Um, it does show you the secret recovery phrase though when you're setting up the wallet as well. So it, it kind of like is something you can't really get around necessarily. All right, so this affects all desktop operating systems and browsers that we've tested. 
They tested on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux with Google Chrome, Chromium, and Firefox browsers. That pretty much covers every type of browser that's going to be out there because most other ones are based on Chromium. So you're talking about Microsoft Edge, Brave Browser, all of them. All versions of the MetaMask extension prior to 10.11.3 on all browser versions. This does not affect MetaMask Mobile. The secret recovery phrase does, does get clearly cleared eventually, but we cannot make guarantees about when at this time. This vulnerability is most likely to affect users who had a device compromised or stolen soon after importing their secret recovery phrase into MetaMask. If all of the above conditions apply to you, then your secret recovery phrase may be accessible to someone with access to the computer you imported your secret recovery phrase on. And you may want to consider migrating funds from those accounts to be safe. We have prepared a guide for migrating accounts funds here. It's pretty simple. You're just going to recover your uh, seed phrase, I would assume. Use of any third-party migration tools must be used at your own risk. Do not do that. This vulnerability could be exploited either by a person with physical access to your machine or by malware. However, if your device is compromised by malware, there are already many other attacks we cannot protect against like keyloggers, direct memory access, and program control. If your computer is not physically secure from people you do not trust, we recommend you enable full disk encryption on your system. Additionally, and we covered that earlier, additionally, you are not affected by this if your funds are managed by a hardware wallet. You can learn more about that here. Affected users should consider migrating the funds from the accounts generated by the secret recovery phrase to new accounts generated by a new secret recovery phrase. We set up a guide to help you do this if you need it and assembled a few software options that can make it easier. The rest of this document will provide some additional details and suggestions about how to best keep your wallet safe. At a later date, we will disclose more specifics about the nature of the issue so that other software developers can avoid these issues themselves. But for now, we are first disclosing recommended user actions to minimize the risks of threat. How secure am I? As stated before, if a computer is compromised either outside of your physical control or has malicious software on it, you can, can't be sure of the security of any program running on it. This is a problem that has been acknowledged and discussed by the 1Password team, a popular password manager. Explaining the difficulties in solving it, Jeffrey Goldberg, a principal security architect at 1Password, stated, quote, This is a well-known issue that's been publicly discussed many times before, but any plausible cure may be worse than the disease. If you're using a password manager, you're likely more secure than those who aren't, yet even password managers aren't immune to flaws. Conclusion. Ultimately, ultimately, we've learned that our password encryption feature security was partially undermined by browser behavior since browsers themselves consider physical access attacks to be outside of their threat model. And our current wallet is built on top of the browser. It has proven labor intensive to reduce the size of this attack surface and it may be impossible to fully eliminate it. Ultimately, it is likely that only full disk encryption can provide your computer strong safety against physical computer attacks. Is this something that you should have expected? It depends on whether you thought your secret recovery phrase could be recovered on disk or not. If you assumed your computer needed to be kept secure, you should be fine. If you believe the MetaMask password implied that no one with access to your computer was able to extract your accounts, this may be a surprise to you. At a high level, it should generally be expected for computers, browsers, etc. to store text inputs on some level, whether temporarily or permanently. However, due to the nature of how significant it is to keep your secret recovery phrase secure, this specific scenario needs attention brought to it so its users can act accordingly. Fortunately, it seems that the password is still providing some level of security. We've only found that the secure secret recovery phrase could be extracted under very specific circumstances, and we've been able to introduce new protections over the period that Halburn has uh, waited to disclose. And we have a few more we plan to implement. We will continue to introduce additional security mechanisms that reduce the risk even more. This means it is still good practice to lock your wallet if you're not using it or passing your computer to someone else. Don't give your computer... Look, there's two things people don't touch. My computer and my motorcycle, all right? You just, you just don't let people use them. That's it. Anyone. You just don't let anyone use your computer or your motorcycle. Ever. That's, that's my thoughts, but... You know, let me know. 
Please take the time to enable full disk encryption on your computer. We talked about that at the beginning. It's the only way to be sure that someone with physical access to your computer isn't able to extract all of its contents. We also recommend the usage of hardware wallets as an additional security measure. Clear your browser da uh, browser cache data. Our research shows this may help some users in some cases. And remember that it's your responsibility to, compete complete, uh, to keep your computer secure. No wallet or software can keep itself safe in the system it runs on if the system it runs on is compromised. Take the time to learn how to avoid installing a virus on your computer. And then there's some guides they left you there for different oper operating systems and keeping them secure. And then, of course, your conclusion. We'd like to ex express our thanks to the Halburn team for responsibly disclosing this and for all of their hard work helping to protect this space. You can see more of their work here. They've awarded Halburn 50,000 USD for this discovery. And if you have concerns, you can contact security at metamask.com. Also, MetaMask is hiring. Everybody else in this space is, 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 is firing and MetaMask is hiring. Mm, not your keys, not your crypto boys. Like to see it. If your computer is a lab computer, I sure as hell hope you're not installing MetaMask on it. <laughs> Gabe. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here. Or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.